Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Frames of Nature, a channel about nature, photography, and more. Rain is a harbinger of life, more so in the amazing Western Ghats of India. Come the season of monsoon, the forests of Western Ghats start brimming with life. The first few drops of rain hitting the forest floor brings about an amazing transformation. They instill a fresh lease of life onto many creatures that have been lying in wait for this very moment all along. These creatures begin coming out in huge numbers to continue their cycle of life. The abundant availability of food draws in the predators too. One fine monsoon morning in the beautiful forests of Agumbe. The rain had let up a bit. A very welcome reprieve after an intense pounding all through the night. So I decided to venture out on a nature trail. A few minutes into the trail, I sensed some movement in a thick patch of shrub just a few yards away. Taking a couple of steps toward it and looking hard is when I noticed that it was a green vine snake, a rather long individual which was in full stretch, dangling with its head facing down toward the forest floor. It seemed to be quite intently looking at something in the thick, grassy patch below. Green vine snakes are diurnal, meaning active during the day. So it was quite possible that the individual here was looking for a meal and probably had found a potential one too. With the thick growth on the forest floor, I wasn't able to decipher as to what the snake was actually looking for. Green vine snake, as the name implies, are green-colored and vine-like, long and slender-bodied snakes. They are amazingly well camouflaged and blend into the lush, green, thick undergrowth so immaculately as you can see here. They are full of stealth when it comes to hunting. The individual here seemed to be in no hurry. It was ever so slightly and steadily inching toward its target. The vine snake also seemed to be so beautifully using the nature's elements to its advantage. It seemed to be moving only with the breeze. When there was no wind, the vine snake was completely still. However, when a gentle breeze came through and the stalks of the shrub started swaying, the vine snake slid itself down an inch or two, so very slowly, swaying along with the plant, all the while anchoring its long body at different points along the twigs of the shrub. It was absolute stealth and absolute precision. With its amazing camouflage and stealthy approach, whatever the vine snake was targeting, I am sure didn't have the faintest clue of what was coming for it. Looking at it, I knew that the snake was going to take its time. So I left it to go about its business and went ahead on my trail, looking around for other subjects. In a rainforest, there is life at every step of the way. As I continued on my trail, I was also very conscious of not straying too far as I wanted to keep checking back on the snake's progress. For a considerably long time, nothing much seemed to have happened other than the vine snake having moved a couple of inches closer to the forest floor. Then, finally, as I came checking back, I lost count on the number of times, I noticed that the green vine snake had picked up something. It had indeed made a kill. The prey was a frog, looked like a reddish burrowing frog. As it picked the frog up, the snake tried to realign its grip to begin the process of swallowing. Unlocking the scales around its jaw, as you can see here, the snake began opening its mouth really wide and started maneuvering its way over the prey, effectively pushing the meal down its throat. It was a gradual process. Once the prey was ingested, the green vine snake headed on to find a safe place to rest and digest the day's meal, realigning its jaws as it went. You can see the meal sliding down its throat, too. In the natural world, it is always about the circle of life. Predator-prey dynamics is highly imperative in maintaining the overall ecological balance. As always, if you liked this video, please give a thumbs up and share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.